welcome back we are measuring temperature and uh, humidity wirelessly uh, with ESP now protocol I'll be using two boards two Xiao ESP 32 C3 board one of them will be the transmitter and the other receiver and the sensor that uh, I'm going to be using is the DHT22 sensor of course we're gonna be printing out the temperature and the humidity uh, values on an LCD I2C I squared C so guys um, as I said in the previous video uh, that the transmitter board the Xiao ESP 32C3 transmitter needs to know the media access control address of the receiver so to know the address of the receiver board is very simple you just need to uh, to upload any code to it and uh, you're gonna see its mark address on the output when it comes to Arduino ID. The sensor, uh, the the DHT22 sensor, is part of the transmitter, and uh, the LCD I2C is part of the receiver. So the output, the data pin of the sensor, is attached to GPIO uh, 2 and uh, it's VCC to 3.3 volts minus pin to ground that's the transmitter on the uh, receiver SCL pin from our LCD Display is attached to GPIO, GPIO 7 and uh, the data pin, uh, the SDA pin to GPIO, GPIO 6. Okay, now let's go to Arduino ID so I can show you the sketches. So the sketch for transmitter board and for receiver board okay let me explain a little bit of uh, this code okay so you need to download the dht uh, library and uh, here our pin i mean our sensor is attached to gpio2 and uh, that's the type of the sensor and we created here a object Th that's the uh, mac address of the receiver so here we define two variables humidity and uh, temperature so guys that's that the transmitter code so we, we're gonna be uh yeah um, we, uh, we will read the temperature and sensor uh, and uh, the value will be stored in, in these variables so here you begin the sensor DHT and so scroll down scroll down what else okay now here you create a, a variable of of a uh, data packed type and uh, then here you read 
the humi- the temperature and the humidity and then you start uh, the values in the temperature and the hu- humidity variables respectively and so then uh, so here we are so now you can transmit the um, the bits okay the data to the uh, receiver uh, with help of the function sp now send okay guys uh, if the um, delivery is good we're gonna print out the delivery success now that that's the receiver code you know you need to download the liquid crystal i2c library and uh, yeah uh, you do these things so uh, the structure example to receive a data must match the sender structure okay guys so the project can work and so you, you, you create here a variable path of data path uh, type uh, so that's the receiver code. Here we are receiving the code, the the temperature and uh, humidity values wirelessly. So these values are coming from the DHT sensor. Uh, yeah, and we define. We set up the lines for the uh, LCD display. Uh, here we initiate okay in the void setup function um, I initiate the uh, LCD then I turn on the, the backlight uh, then I once the ESP now is six successfully initiate we will register for blah 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 okay so guys um as you can see on the output that's the uh, mac address of the receiver okay now testing time so as, as you can see guys uh, it's working okay the humidity is 77.50 and the temperature 17.80 um, okay guys so we are measuring the temperature and the humidity wirelessly if I um, take out the sensor okay no value okay if I put it back we're gonna continue continue reading wow that's awesome guy <laughs> guys uh, so yeah it's working pretty well so now we, we need to wait for for the sensor to stabilize if you want because we, uh, we've taken it out so it will be stable after a few seconds it's okay um, We wait few uh, few seconds, um, so that we can get accurate values.
okay? I think it's already good. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's okay. Okay, I think that's great. Thank you so much, guys.